What's up guys, this is Sammy here and in this video I am going to show you how to edit like Brahmino and I am going to take this image as the reference image. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel, leave a like and let's get started. Okay, so in Lightroom, the first thing which we are going to do is brightening up the skin tones. And then reducing the exposure just a little bit and increasing the shadows and then with a graduated filter I am going to reduce the brightness of the skies then in the split toning part I am going to use a bit of greenish tone in the shadows It is around 158 and keep the saturation at 30. Around 25. And then with the brush tool, I am going to darken the edges of the corn field and keep the exposure around 0 0.95 minus 0 0.95. And with another brush tool, I am going to darken it further. And another brush tool to darken the clouds just a little more. Then I am going to use another brush tool to brighten up the skin tones. And after zooming in I am increasing the exposure to around 0.25 and join over the skin it can be brighter so I am duplicating this layer and duplicating this once more and then this is perfect now in the highlights portion of the split tone and I keep in the hue around 130 and keep the saturation around 12 and I am going to place in a little bit of shadows in the curves Brighten up that corn field and, and make the sky a little darker using the luminance panel. I am going to reduce a bit of highlights more. With the brush tool I am going to desaturate a little bit for the sky because as you can see the sky is a lot green. This is the before and after. Now what I am going to do is increase the temperature in the brush tool and brushing on that corn field because in the reference image there is a lot of yellows in the corn field but as the flowers were actually yellow and in this there are no yellow so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow using the brush tool and I'm going to readjust the graduated filter because it is a bit over that subject so I'm going to use the brush tool to remove that portion or mask over that portion whatever you can say so that's pretty much it. Not exactly the same but this is how you do it. And the fact for making this video is, is not that you should exactly copy these people. Rather I am telling the techniques of how to do them and create your own style with that. With that being said this is Pistol Sammy signing out and I will be with another tutorial tomorrow. So peace out. <laughs>